In the Northwest Zone, Chairman of the Constitution Reform Public Hearing is confident the Senate would conclude deliberations on the amendments to the Constitution before it proceeds on recess in July. And that's to give the House of Representatives and the State Assemblies ample time to consider alterations made for passage. Correspondent Larry Adeyemi has details. Passionate and sometimes emotional, it was apparent that many Nigerians are not pleased with many provisions of the country's constitution. Traditional rulers want the constitution to recognize and give them specific roles, while others clamor for the creation of additional local government areas. Almost everyone wants the federal government to let go of some of its responsibilities. We deserve much more than the three local government of Nigeria. That is the only centralized district in Nigeria now, with only two local governments. That's unfortunate. Local government creation should be left in the hands of the state, and each state should be able to create its local government depending on the resources it feels it can cater for the local government it has created. Electoral and judicial reforms top the agenda. Members of the bar and the bench want the constitution amended to ensure that the will of justice is not only smooth but also fast. The main issue conversed by, by MBA is about virtual court hearing and electoral re reform. And the issue about virtual court hearing is because the, con the constitution of Nigeria, as it is now, there is not any issue on virtual court hearing because section 36, subsection 3 and 4 has, talk, has mentioned that all hearings, particularly in criminal cases, must be done in public. What we are conversing for is for the amendment of section 318, which is the definition section of the 1999 constitution, to include magistrates as judicial officers. Senator Danjuma Goje is confident that the work of the Senate committee would be completed by July and Nigeria would have an amended constitution before the end of the Ninth National Assembly. Each item has to be passed by two side majority in the Senate. It has to be passed by the House of Representatives. They have to be taken to the states. And it needs the endorsement of at least 24 states for it to pass through. They will be taken to the president for access. But on our part, we will do everything before we go out of As a two-day public hearing on constitutional reform winds to a close, the issues that dominate conversation remains local government autonomy, devolution of power, and election reform. The people hope that their presentation and submissions will be reflected in the documents that will be produced, and the constitution of Nigeria would reflect the true will of the people. Landry Adiemi, TVC News, Gombe.